Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Mide and I'm currently working on an unnamed FPS shooter in Unity. In today's video, I'm specifically going to be talking about the movement mechanics that I've implemented into the game so far. The reason why I'm going to be focusing on movement alone is because I started working on this game quite a while ago and I don't think it would make sense if I just jumped to the things I have gotten done recently. So I think it's better if I talk about particular things and let the devlogs eventually catch up to where I am currently. So I'm going to start off with the most basic mechanics. So if I want to make a good movement shooter, then I'd have to have good movement, obviously. And I think what I've done so far is uh, it's pretty decent, you know, it's not fantastic, but I think it's good enough. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the walk slash run. So this works pretty much how you expect it to work in any other game. You press a button, W, or you move your joystick forward, the player moves forward. In the earlier stages of development in the game, I used to have like a walk slash run thing where if you like hold shift, you would run. But if you weren't holding shift, you won't run like the like regular FPS games. But I figured there was no need for me to actually keep that in because there was really no need for the player to ever want to walk. So I just scrapped it and now you just move forward to run. The next movement mechanic that I've gotten done is the jumping. There are three types of jumping, regular jump, the double jump and the wall jump and they work exactly how you think they do. Hey, it's me editing the video and some things have changed since I recorded that voiceover. I've improved the feeling of bunny hopping. Now whenever you bunny hop, your speed gets increased a little bit and it keeps increasing until you hit max speed. This encourages the player to bunny up to move around the arena really quickly. I should be playing a clip of this right now as I'm. So moving on to more interesting stuff. The next movement mechanic that I've gotten done is the dash or I guess the double dash. Basically, when you're moving, whenever you hit the dash button, it gives you a burst of speed in the direction you're moving to, not the direction you're looking at. So you could be looking, the player character could be looking forward but dash backwards or to the side. I think this mechanic has pretty much become like a staple in most FPS games nowadays. Like is <laughs> like you kind of expect to have a dash move nowadays and it's pretty obvious why. The dash allows you to close the distance with enemies or to dodge projectiles quicker and it's just fun to play around with. Next up is the vaulting slash clambering slash you know what I'm talking about so I'm not going to try and look for new names of it on Google. Basically when you're by a ledge you automatically get pulled up by the game. This is definitely the buggiest mechanic in the game and I had to make several iterations to the code before I could get it to a good state. But after I did get to working, the dash and the vault mechanic created this weird little movement hack where if you dash into a ledge while you're vaulting you will be thrown and to carry your momentum forward. It's really cool, kind of like a speedrunner's hack, but yeah. And the last mechanic I'm going to be talking about today is the rail grinding mechanic. This is definitely the most interesting mechanic that I've ever implemented into the game at any point. It's also kind of my favorite. So basically on a random day, I had this weird idea of adding the rail grinding mechanic from old skate games. Just short rails, I don't want it to be anything too long or complicated. But when I googled around for how to actually approach this, most of the tutorials or like steps and guides were using splines. And I think that's a little bit too complicated for what I was going for because I just wanted short rails that the player could easily grind on and off of. I didn't really want something like the Sonic games where it would hold on to you and you could go on loops and curves and stuff like that. I just wanted some simple grinding. Oh, pause. I wasn't going for something like that, so I came up with a different way of doing it. So for anybody wondering how I implemented mine without using splines, this is basically how I did it. When the player character jumps on the rail, it stores the player's velocity on entry inside a temporary vector 3 value. This way it's able to know what direction the player was moving in when he touched the rail and then move the player forward on the rail in that direction. So as you can see here, whenever I jump on the rail, it moves me in the direction I was already moving in. And as soon as I get off the rail, it sets my velocity back to the velocity I had on entry. I know this is a very basic implementation of the rail grind mechanic but it gets the job done and it's better to keep things simple than to make them too complicated. There's still a few more movement mechanics that I will be adding in the future. I'm even working on one right now. 
but if you have any other suggestions let me know and i promise i'll consider it if it's simple enough or if i actually just like it anyway thanks for watching if you're new to the channel you can maybe please sort of kind of subscribe i don't know it's up to you your choice if you want to stay caught up with the game then hey you know what to do like the video so youtube can push the video to other people too and i'll see you next time